I often write poems about my family since I lost both my mother and father when I was around 18 years old. Um, this is for my father. My dad was a prize fighter. He had 89 fights. He was a bantamweight. And he won 88 and had one draw. And he could have turned pro. He didn't. He said, I don't want to get punch drunk. Instead, he worked in a paper factory or glue factory for the rest of his life. So who knows? But this is called Fists from my father. It was the sense that your fists were worlds and mine were not that caused me to worship you. All those thick rope veins and the deep inlaid grime of your life, the permanent filth of your labors. I wanted your history. I wanted that hardness of fists. I'd pry your fingers, fingers loose using both my hands, find stones, a robin's egg uncrushed in the thick meat of your palms. Between thumb and forefinger, your flesh smelled of creosote and lye and three packs of Chesterfield Kings. You told me stories about heroes, David with his sling, Samson with the jawbone of an ass, Christ with his word forgive. Tonight I read about Cuchulain, the Irish hero, contending with the sea, how he killed his son in battle, a son he'd never known, and mad with his grief fought the waves for three nights and as many days, until at last he came ashore and fell asleep, exhausted, holding his dead child's hands. When he woke, it was morning, and the hands of his son had become two black swans. They flew west where all suffering ends. I read this story and I remember you. Hold me clenched until I am those birds. Sleep now, da, until your fist can open. So that's a tribute to my father. And da is the Irish way of saying dad. So we call him da.